Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Lee Halliday, and in this video, we are going to learn how to stop ourselves from committing code that has TypeScript issues, ESLint problems, hasn't been prettyerized, and that has failing tests. Stop ourselves from committing those into our Git repository. And we're going to use Git hooks for that, specifically Husky and Lint stage to help us out. So to get started, we're going to start with nothing, and we're going to create a brand new Create React app. So npx create react app and we're going to call it the husky demo and we're going to use the typescript um, template that will set us up all of those uh, ts config files and all of that so let's give it a minute to install and then we'll get going all righty so let's go into the husky demo um, folder and now we're going to install and initialize husky so for that we say npx husky init and then when that's done, we're just going to run yarn so that it installs all of the dependencies. So when this is done, we're going to open up this folder in our VS code and see what files it has added or modified. So once it finishes highlighting this, we will see that it's tweaked our package.json. And what it's done is it's added a new prepare script that will install Husky on other developers' computers that are using this, um, this package, this uh, project we're building, and it's also installed Husky as a dev dependency. So more importantly, we have this .husky folder that has a file in here called pre-commit. So Git comes with all sorts of uh, hooks you can hook into, pre-commit, post-commit, post-merge, which, we're we're all, which we're also going to be taking a look at today. And basically you're gonna have one file per Git um, hook that you're using. So we're going to modify our pre-commit to instead of running our tests, we're going to say run the yarn TypeScript command. So if we were down here in the console, what we could do is we could add the files and then commit them. So we are installing Husky. And so prior or pre-commit to committing these files, it's going to run yarn type check, which it did, but it found no issues, so it went ahead and it, um, it committed this. Hey, I just wanted to mention that I created a course I'm really proud of called Next Level Next JS, where we build a full stack app start to finish using a whole bunch of technologies I'm pumped about. So that would be Apollo, both on the client and the server to build a GraphQL application. We use Prisma to connect to our database. We use TypeScript, we use Maps. So it's a really cool app where at the end of it, you'll know how to create your app from start to finish, full stack, and then you can take this and build your own project with it. So it's 49 US dollars, and there is purchasing power parity if you come from somewhere where that is a little bit too steep. So head to next.leehalliday.com and check it out. I would really appreciate it, thanks. So now what we're going to do is basically add in some other checks. So we wanna check for ESLint, Prettier, and run our tests. And we could add them here, but then it's going to run them basically even if you change a markdown file or something that's completely unrelated to running tests in your system. So instead, we're going to add another package called lint staged. So we're going to add as a dev dependency lint staged and also prettier. So what lint staged does is it basically allows you to only run these commands when certain files are being staged or about to be committed. So we can go into our package.json, come down here to the bottom, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a lint staged, and then we wanna give it a pattern of files to look for. So we're gonna say in any folder, any file name with these extensions, so JS, JSX, TS, TSX, run this array of commands. So the first one we're gonna get it to run is ESLint, then we'll run prettier and we'll say write any um, changes that it produces. So normally like my VS code does this for me, but now no matter who is using this, no matter what their setup is, it's going to run it through prettier and write those changes prior to committing. And the last one will be yarn test. And we need to set a few flags here. We wanna say watch all is false. That's because in Create React App, it runs it in this like interactive setup. We don't want that, so just no watching. And we're going to say find related tests. And that's because if you've just changed one file, why run your entire test suite? Your CI should be doing that. 
In this case, it's going to try uh, tests that are related to the files that you're staging and just run those ones and we'll tell it to bail as well. So when does lint staged get to run? So you could run it now, right? Yarn lint staged. It's going to say we haven't staged any changes, so it's not going to run anything. But what we want to do is tie husky and lint stage together. So we'll go back to this pre-commit file and we'll say yarn lint staged. So now it's tied into the pre-commit hook to run the type check and anything we have here in lint staged. So why don't we try to get it to produce some, some failures so it will stop us from committing. So we're going to create two. First, let's make a test fail. So we're gonna come in here to our app and we're gonna change this text to learn Husky, just like this. And our test is looking for the text learn react. So this should begin to fail. And see how this file here isn't being used. It's sort of grayed out. We wanna stop unused variables or unused locals from being committed. So we can do that in TypeScript by just configuring our TS config to say no unused locals is now true. So if we came back here now, it's gonna write a squiggly under here. So if we add these files, stage them, try to commit. So adding lint staged, what it's going to do is first it's going to run TypeScript, which should fail. And it's saying, hey, you need to fix these two issues before I'm gonna allow you to commit. Now keep in mind, you could add no verify to basically skip these checks but that's generally a no-no, like that sort of goes against the whole point of why we're doing this. So let's fix our code instead. So fix that one, fix this one. Oops, let's add them again. And now let's commit them. So now TypeScript should pass, but our test should still fail. So it's running ESLint, prettier, and now it's running the tests and hopefully one of these fails which it did. So it tells us which test failed and it's basically our job to go and correct that. So we can go into our text, our test and say, we're looking for learn Husky. And now we should be able to, let me just go back and use the same one as before. So now everything should pass and it should allow us to commit. So TS check passed, lint, ES lint prettier, and our tests should all be passing. Finally, it allowed us to commit, but now we know that we're committing code that has everything good to go. So the last thing I wanna cover is basically um, tying into the post merge uh, Git hook. And what we're going to do is whenever we pull code from GitHub or from a different branch, it's going to run um, yarn or yarn install. Because if another developer on our team added some packages, I don't even want to think, as soon as I pull down that code, just install any changes so that I can use the code how it is. So to do that, we're going to say, okay, npx husky, we're going to add to the .husky folder a post merge. Um, to the post merge file, we're going to add the command yarn, just like that. So we now have post merge yarn and we're going to commit this so git add commit adding post merge and now it's time to sort of see this in action so let's go to a different branch so we're going to create a new branch called just a feature branch i don't know what it whatever the feature is and we're going to create a new file just so we can get a commit so touch um, something.md let's commit this adding something.md file. Cool. So once it's finished um, committing this, we're gonna go back to our master branch and I wanna merge in the code from feature. So I could say git merge feature or a little trick if you didn't know this, you can just say dash to be the last branch that you were on. So that would be feature. So when it merges this in, you can see that it does a yarn install. And that's because of the post merge hook that will automatically try and install any um, changes that you've made to the packages in your, in your project. So that's everything that I wanted to cover today. Basically, we learned how to use two Git hooks, pre-commit to basically check our code before putting it into our Git repository. 
and in that we ran our TypeScript checked and we used lint staged to only run um, checks, certain checks if certain files have changed. And then we also use postmerge to install any changes for new packages added to the package.json file. And that's how you can use Husky together with lint stage to stop yourself from putting bad code into your repository. All right, that's it. Take care. Bye.